Afternoon, folks. I hope you're all well. It is Sunday afternoon. It is lovely and sunny here in Dumfries and Galloway. And I'm currently in the town of Moffat here in Dumfries. So I thought what I would do is I would take you for a wee walk down Well Street, which I think is a stunning little street. And um, it reminds me a little bit of Diagon Alley from Harry Potter. So let's go for a wee walk. It's very quiet down here today. I think most of the shops are shut with it being Sunday. But just in front of us, there's a very beautiful sandstone building. And up at the top there, you can see a statue. And that is a four foot high statue of Robert the Bruce made out of zinc, which apparently was given to the town as payment for a debt. There is a plaque here all about it. But you can walk past these things and never notice them sometimes. As we come out down here towards the bottom of Well Street, you come out into Moffat High Street which is much busier. There's people stopping for teas and coffees and ice creams. And there's the Moffat War Memorial. Moffat holds a few records, world records or whatever. I think there is the famous Star Hotel, which is the narrowest hotel in the UK, possibly in Europe, I think, I'm not too sure. And next to it is Well Street, which is the narrowest street in Europe. Or maybe just the UK. I'll need to check those facts up. But there is Star Street. There should be a plaque maybe here on the hotel that will tell us whether what it is. So it says it's in the Guinness Book of Records for the narrowest hotel in the world. That's even better than I thought. That is pretty amazing. A great claim to fame for Moffat and for Dumfries and Galloway. And if we head up the high street a wee bit as well, there's an interesting chemist that I noticed. a very interesting sign in the window. And it's Thomas Hetherington Druggists and it's the Scotland's oldest pharmacy and it was established in 1844. As we head further up the street, there is, of course, as we're heading towards the famous statue of the ram in Moffat, which represents the farming community and the wool trade that Moffat made its fortunes from back in the day and the famous story of the Moffat Ram is the fact that somebody pointed out once to the person who sculpted it that the ram has no ears
And there's Moffat Town Hall over there that actually used to be a bath when Moffat was a spa town. Famous for its healing waters. It's a beautiful wide street with parking up the centre. There's not many streets quite as beautiful as Moffat. Anywhere in the world, I don't think. It's a very special place. Indeed. And of course, with lockdown being the way it is with COVID, it's a lot quieter than it would normally be on a sunny September afternoon. Across the road there is the famous Moffat toffee shop. And of course Moffat toffee is renowned as being a repellent. If you're sucking on Moffat toffee you won't get harassed by wild hairy haggises, so they say. And then down here is we're heading towards the Black Bull pub where Rabbi Burns famously carved a poem on the window with a diamond ring. I am not too sure whose the diamond ring was and what the poem said, but the Black Bull Inn is still a very popular stop with people looking for a sociable place to eat and drink and people following the footsteps of Scotland's bard and then there is of course the Moffat church I think the sun is playing havoc with the camera at the moment so you might just see silhouettes and next to the black bull is Moffat Museum, which is in that lovely building there. And then just in front of me is a signpost there about the Grey Mare's Tail, which is a beautiful waterfall. Just out, about 10 miles out of Moffat, heading towards Selkirk. And it's well worth a visit out there and to continue on up to St. Mary's Lock over in the borders. So, let me just cross over the road look both ways whilst filming. There's Moffat Graveyard over there. So that's just a very quick wee brief walk around Moffat down Well Street and up the High Street to see a couple of the interesting things but it's a great town to come and visit if you're looking for somewhere to go for a run out there's lots of nice wee coffee shops and places to eat um, and little shops to have a look around so I hope enjoy the rest of your Sunday afternoon folks take care stay safe bye bye